Hello everyone. Welcome to the self-learning series of Nokri's database. Nokri's Restex has millions of resumes that enables you to search and contact these job seekers as per your job requirements. In this video, we will learn how to search through Nokri's database. So let us get started by logging to the employer zone. Enter your username, password and click on sign in. Here we are on the employer's interface. From here, we'll go to Restex and we'll click on Search Resumes. This will direct you to a simple and a very comprehensive advanced search form. As you can see, it is a compact form where the main options like keywords, experience, salary are outright on the screen and the rest of the options are in expand and collapse mode. Please note, none of the parameters on this page are mandatory which means you may fill up any of these search parameters, basis your requirements and then click on search button. Nokri will show you the resumes matching to your search criteria. So now we will cover the entire form field by field. Let's start from the most important part of the form that are keywords. These are the skills or the specifications you're looking in the candidates. Identify the required key skills from your job description. Like if you're looking for someone who has experience in customer service, customer support, customer handling, customer servicing, CS, etc. are the possible keywords. But the question is where to write the desired ones as you have any, all and excluding keywords. So write the optional skills or similar words in any keywords and this would be searching either of these words. Please note, you have to separate two words by a comma. However, for finding compound skills that contain more than one word like customer support or client servicing as one skill set, you need to enclose the same within quotes. Nokri will also show you some suggested key skills. You may use the same or click here to close them. Then write your mandatory words in all keywords. So let's assume in this case, we are looking for someone who has the experience of taking inbound calls as a mandatory experience. So we will write the same here. Now the above written keywords will give us the resumes of the candidates that would have experience in either or combination of these skill sets with inbound written in their CVs. Moving on, you can fill in the basic requirements like experience and salary. Then type and select the desired location. Multi-selecting is possible from the drop-down. Further to this, you have options in collapse mode. Click on the desired one to expand it. In employment details, we have function area that is the department of the candidate you're targeting for with the roles corresponding to it. You can also specify one or multiple industries that is the domain of the company you're targeting the candidates from. For doing headhunting, use the option of employers and target the candidates from specific companies. Then you may also specify the notice period using this option. In educational details, if you want to specify a particular qualification, select the same from here. You also have education type here, which is full-time, part-time or correspondence. In additional details, you have fields like searching only women candidates and candidates age. In display details, you have few more self-explanatory fields. From the left side bottom here, select the desired candidates active in duration. Any candidate who has logged into his job seekers account within the specified time would be considered as active and will be coming in your search results. By default, it is six months. So with this, we have completed the entire form. Hope by now you have got an idea of how to put your search criteria. We recommend you to perform the search on a broad range of mandatory parameters first and then narrow it down later on the result page. Now to check the results, click on the search button this is your search result page where these are the number of CVs that are matching to your search criteria. To learn how to work on your results, keep watching the same series or click on the video link appearing on your screen. Thank you for watching this video. For more tutorial videos, subscribe to our channel. 
And for any further assistance, feel free to call us back on these helpline numbers or email us at support at the rate